Teens are being encouraged to focus on something else to keep them safe and away from violent gun related behavior. Today, the city's summer program to do just that focused on conflict resolution among teens. WRTV's Rachel Wilkerson talks to teens who are taking part in the city's mission. Good, good work, good work. Step by step. One, two. <laughs> and punch by punch. Give me a punch. Woo. Children of all ages are learning how to deal with their emotions at Mike Ford's personal trainer's gym off Keystone Avenue. Hey, don't quit. Seven. Squat down, squat down, squat down. As gun violence amongst teens across Indianapolis continues to rise, 18-year-old Daquan Dry says youth are becoming numb to it. It shouldn't be normal, but it's normal, so it's heartbreaking. Metro Police, the city, and community activists beg parents to find outlets for their children, and it can start with a summer program like this one. So it's giving the youth a different um, thing, a different activity to do versus being just at home or on the video games or out, you know, possibly being up to no good. Some people never done things like this, so, you know, they're giving people a chance, you know, try new things, things you don't want to do, so. But you, you know, you want to learn. For Dry, getting some exercise, coaching, and support from fellow men is a way to keep him off the streets. It's a lot of things to do out here that's tempting, but see, you know, I just have find something positive to do. It's more than just boxing and training. Today's session is about keeping these kids out of trouble and to learn about conflict resolution. Because there's other ways to do things than fight, okay? So I just want y'all to understand that that's what it's about, discipline, okay? And knowing how to fight, when to fight, when not to fight at all, okay? Trainer Mike Ford wants teens to know guns are not the answer. And it does not make you a punk, does not make somebody bully you. It just means you're smart. It's one of the reasons why Kevin Beverly decides to bring his 15-year-old son, Cameron. It really hurts all families. You know, I have uh, went through that myself with a cousin of mine that um, got killed to gun violence. And uh, it didn't only just hurt his family, it hurt all his friends and his loved ones. So um, I, I really hope that it can stop, you know, and uh, if more kids can get out here in programs, they know how to think. I said it run into a gun. Good job, good job, good hustle. Rachel Wilkerson, WRTV. Summer in the City events hosted by the Indianapolis Office of Public Health and Safety are free. They include barbershop classes, cooking on a budget, and more. To sign your child up for one of the classes, just go to Eventbrite and look for Summer in the City. You'll also find the info in this story at WRTV.com. Transportation can be provided.